This portion of the video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for people like me and you to go to learn about almost anything you can imagine. With classes on topics like design, art, plants, and journaling, Skillshare makes it easy to dabble in new hobbies on your own time. Skillshare offers thousands of classes that include a combination of video lessons and class projects for a hands-on experience. And most classes are under 60 minutes with short lessons to fit any schedule. I just finished Advanced Video Editing, Essential Graphics and More in Adobe Premiere Pro by Halise to advance in my editing skills. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in my description will get a one month free trial so you can explore your own creativity this summer. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. It's the beginning of the month, right after my birthday, and I was like, ooh, I'm gonna get back to work after I just came back from my trip. But I just wanna rearrange my room a little bit, my office, and my office, not my bedroom, my office. And I wanna make it just a little bit more the workflow a little bit better because when I film, I can only film because I take up all the space. Um, I can't use my computer, so I just wanted to be a little bit better. So I go to rearrange and I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna get this one thing from Ikea. But then I ended up at Home Goods and I buy a lot of stuff at Home Goods. I don't go to Ikea. And then it turns into like complete redecoration. So that was yesterday. <laughs> Today I just got back from Ikea because I didn't go yesterday and bought three pieces of furniture and this chair behind me that I'm about to build today, tonight. I spent this morning rearranging my rearranging the office. I've been picking stuff from my room so now my bedroom looks empty. So now I have to redecorate my bedroom. I don't have to redecorate but like now my bedroom needs things. Granted, oh my eyelash stuck. Okay. Granted, I never officially finished decorating either space, but I was kind of living in it bare minimum-ish. Like it looked good from a certain angle and that was about it. So like this room, this wall that was my background um, in my videos for the past month or two, that was the only wall decorated. So y'all had been asking for like tours and stuff and there wasn't anything decorated it was just like that set up and the rest of the room was just tables work tables so now i've taken on the like i've accidentally taken on this new project that i hope to finish this week i do want to show you guys what it looked before since this has kind of turned into an office room makeover um this is what it looked like before So this is what my room looks like before, or my office looks like before. Just a quick span. It's pretty clean right now. Cleaned it before I left. I'm about to get started on building some things. I got a clothing rack, I got like a shelf unit, and then I got a new smaller desk to do my nails and just to take up a little bit less space. I'm trying to just only have what I need. You know what I mean? Like I just have like a lot of things at this point. I can't tell you guys how many times I've redecorated and I've just accumulated a lot of stuff and tried to like repurpose what I already had but then I still end up buying new things and it's just time to get rid of some stuff. So I'm going to take this whole impromptu redecorating to only keep the things that are really useful and purposeful and that I really like. So if I'm not going to use it I'm just going to put it in the hall and I will get rid of it maybe this weekend I'll list everything on Facebook marketplace or something so yeah I moved my large mirror that I had in my room in here and that really made my bedroom feel really empty so when you walk in I have my desk and my computer station which I used to film against this wall but I this used to be like my big work table that I kept clean and I could just do like whatever on but it wasn't getting much use like I thought it would so if anytime I need to like do a project that I need more space I'll just bring out my table but I don't have to have a table set up all the time so now this is going to be more storage and just like a little decoration space just not taking up too much and then this is my nail area so I use an Alex 9 drawer and a table and that's really all that I need for my nails. And now the nail station used to be out here and now I have my mirror. So I'm really liking how this is turning out.
I just wanted to show y'all how my this little area is coming together. So we just finished it and I just like kind of mock styled it with things that I already had because I have like tons of stuff. I'm literally taking everything from my room so my room is pretty bare right now but this is kind of what I'm wanting it to look like. So my mom already had this canvas and I was looking to get a frame and maybe like an art print the same size. So I was like oh let me see if this one fits. So she was like you can have this one. So it looks like I have a little project to do of painting it putting something on there so that'll be fun and then this shelf was already here and I'm liking to put I'm liking the idea of putting maybe a record and I have this but I don't really like the picture in front of it but I got it for like super cheap at Ikea so I'm gonna find something to put inside of it I just love these shelves from Ikea and how they're styled like there's so many Pinterest pictures and I just love how it looks it's so cute I'm gonna make a return I'm gonna be returning that rack from Ikea um, I just wanted to see what it would look like and it would just be a little too cluttered like it would take it's just not enough room for it extremely casual outfit of the day I think I wore this yesterday but I ended up not going anywhere so I just put it back on but I'm headed to run some errands I'm so excited because I'm gonna to return to Ikea and Home Goods and look around at Home Goods. The back is full of everything. So honestly, I should go to Ikea first, but I'm probably gonna to go to Home Goods first. Also, I have, I'm getting back into like taking classes and lessons. So I have always wanted to take tap dance. I've always wanted to try it. So I signed up for like a whole like workshop. Hopefully I like it. I should have tried like a class first, but I signed up for a workshop and it starts tomorrow. Um, so I need to go get some tap shoes. I tried ordering off of Amazon and then my car didn't go through and then it gave me a chance to think about it again. So I'm just gonna find some at a dance store around. So I've always wanted to try, it's like a random thing I've wanted to try. Um, so I'm really excited. And then I'm also looking to take clarinet and piano lessons again. I've always done it like in school. Like I continued after high school in like taking a class in college. Um, but I just kind of want to do it on my own and not have it associated with school. Because I think it'd just be easier that way. I realized I was telling my mom this. I was so competitive and I was like always in a competitive thing. And in a performative thing and I kind of don't do either of those like uploading YouTube videos is just kind of you kind of have to stay in your own world in a way so you kind of have to stay in your own world in a way to like maintain sanity um, so yeah I just kind of really miss that aspect I really miss like competing I really miss having like shows and like performances and I just realized that so I'm so excited and I just have to go buy some tap shoes hopefully somewhere around them has that so yesterday I was able to go to the dance store and they had they were so sweet in there like I was like oh my gosh so I got the cheaper option just because well I gotta feel this out I don't want to I don't know I'm I'm good for not doing something again so I just got the cheaper ones they're about right under $50 and they're plastic um, so she had me try on these and then the higher end ones that were like $80 and they were leather um, But I'm a Beginner beginner. Like I've never I don't even like I have no knowledge of like tap dancing It's just something that I wanted to do and I'm just doing it like as younger I wanted to do it and I don't I really don't know why I just wanted to so that's just all I'm doing I'm just trying it out. So they look like this. I tried them on I ended up getting a ten and a half because I didn't want my toenails to be summing up sometimes they kind of get long and and I get my toes done all the time so I keep them at a good length so it's cute so I just got a sa half size up they look like this and they have the taps on the bottom and I really need to do laundry so I don't have any socks I just have these thick white ones so I'm just gonna try them on and make sure that this is comfortable otherwise I need to go get some socks I need to get them anyways because I just don't have a lot but do I want to do that today? Not really. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. 
that feels way better with the sock on so they were like slightly like it felt fine but then my foot was kind of slipping out of it they were like yeah just put the sock on and it'll be all good and that feels better so i'm gonna pack those up in my bag and then yesterday i did go to home goods and i got a few things i ended up getting a few decor pieces for this little for my shelf and then i'm starting on my bedroom and i got some new bedding i got some new pillows as well but i kept them in the car i forgot to bring them in um so I just got a new sheet set and this is a 400 thread count 100% cotton sateen. I've never had 100% cotton before for my sheets. I always did um, microfiber or like the polyester because it felt soft. I'm like, oh, that's nice. But that hotel feel is like 100% cotton. And then I also got this throw for, I got another one because I, I got one for in here in the office. And then I got this one for my room. I really like the DKNY throws. Um, so this is for my bed. But today's outfit is casual, something easy. So I have on some glasses, some more glasses from Shein, same bag. This is my first time shopping at Shein and <clears throat> I never really did because I don't really like, I know like when clothes are cheap in price, they're not going to like really fit me really good and I'm tall. So... I did buy some swimsuits and then just like a whole bunch of accessories. I would definitely buy accessories again, but I wouldn't buy anything, any clothing things or anything. So I'm wearing this oversized t-shirt from Urban Outfitters, my Aritzia bike shorts, and some white socks and my horses. So ready to go. This one I'm going to have on today and then I also have my big bag. <laughs> So I just finished up my breakfast and lunch dates. Good food. I'm very full. I had two meals. So now I'm at this coffee shop and I'm going to try to just kill some time. I kind of broke my focus I, I wasn't even really working like that I tried to work but then I realized I needed my iPad and I didn't bring it um, and then the Wi-Fi I was doing some like research and stuff in the but the Wi-Fi was just got a little iffy today I'm not really sure what was going on or maybe it's my computer so I just left guys it's Friday and I am so tired today I've been doing laundry and I was just like, usually I like to do something else while I'm doing my laundry, but I just sat there and was just like waiting for it to finish, watching YouTube videos. And I just got, I just put some clothes on and I'm heading out, I'm about to start my weekend and um, wrapping up little computer work and stuff. And the rooms are a mess. You see all that mess in the hall? I think I just need a break um, from looking at that, but I do have a list of everything that I want to get for the decorating so this room is pretty much come together i just have like little things on my de desk and like a pile of little things that i just need to make find a place if anything i might even take some things out of here and i still have to take down the thing the vines but other than that it's looking really good and then as for my room yesterday i kind of cleared it out and tried to make it as a blank of a slate as possible and I've got kind of like an idea of what I want so I know like when I go to the store to the thrift store and stuff I can I know what I'm looking for because that's why I was like I really didn't want to go to a thrift store because like I really didn't know exactly what I was looking for but yeah it looks very empty and stuff but I've changed I had this carpet 
in my trunk and I used it like whenever I if I needed like a picnic blanket or something I used it but it's really just like a thin rug from Ikea and then for my shelves they're just I'm gonna get some more of these to put my things in and make it look a little bit more tidy and then I'm gonna add nightstands that's my old bedding I'm getting new bedding I got new sheets um so I got some new pillows because my old ones were flat and stuff and so I have duvet inserts. I just want to get a new duvet cover. Um, made a lot of progress in the week. I did start this as a rearranging and then it turned to redecorating. So we're getting somewhere. Yesterday's tap class was so fun. I had, I really enjoyed it. I can't wait to go again next week. I think, I don't know, we'll see. I'm not really, I'm not a dancer like whatsoever. So if you like, if, someone, if it was someone who knows me, it might sound strange, but it's just something I have always like thought about trying or at one point I really did and I was just like why not do it right now like why not so that's what I'm doing and it was it was fun um I'm I'm thinking that maybe that's why I'm so tired today my ankles don't really hurt that bad but I had a full day yesterday yesterday was like so fun eventful it was just so good I just got like all the perspective I've just been like a little confused and a little foggy about like how I want to like move forward with things you know and kind of lost a lot of motivation to do stuff like creating content and things like that and um, so like earlier I mentioned like I wanted to get a job I've also been thinking about going back to school I taking these classes I want to go to the gym it was just like I was looking for like something and mainly the reason I wanted to do something outside of the of like YouTube and things like that is because like you can't really show up to YouTube and not do something else in your life or else you're just showing up to YouTube and like making YouTube videos about making YouTube videos. I don't want to do that. That's boring. I don't want to make a YouTube video about making a YouTube video. And that's kind of what it is if you're not doing something outside of it to kind of like bring into the YouTube. So like I'm taking my tap class and now I can talk to you guys about my tap class and maybe one of you guys tap dance. I don't know, but like that's what I want. I want like my life to be a little bit more enriched. I want my life to be a little bit more, I want my life to be way more enriched. I want to learn way more often. I want to be challenged way more often. Um, I've just realized over this past week that that's what's been lacking. And like I used to have a lot of that in school and things like that, especially in high school, I was in a lot of things and I was good at everything because I was just challenged I was able to be good at things because I was being challenged it was just I don't know I was being challenged I don't know it's just something about me being challenged that makes me want to rise to an, the next level and keep working harder and everything I'm doing right now I'm not being challenged so I just don't feel like I'm going anywhere or I can't go anywhere because I'm not being challenged if that makes sense I don't know if I'm making sense but this is kind of the things that are com just coming out of my brain so yeah, I realized a lot yesterday and on the drive home, I was driving home and I like just had like the light bulb moment that I've been waiting for, that I've been praying for. Like literally, I'm just like, have been so like, ah. and um, usually I like to just write stuff down, but I was driving. So I had to record myself talking it out loud. So hopefully I can move forward pretty smoothly. I'm going to take this weekend to chillax and then come back. And see how I feel next week. I don't know. Next week, I still might not be feeling right. But we will see. But um, one thing that I would like to do more is be way more appreciative and be way more grateful. I have really am, like, ashamed of how essentially ungrateful I've been. Like, I'm not, like, outwardly ungrateful. But I definitely have not been appreciative of everything that I, I have or that I do. And, um... Yeah, so I want, I always thank you guys for watching the video, but I really do mean it. And I'm so grateful for you guys because one of the things that I realized is that I have been striving for this like life that I want to live, not realizing that I'm already living it. I'm already living it. Like I could give you a list of things that I would like to do and I'm already doing it. And for some reason I didn't realize it. And so among other things i'm also grateful for you guys so 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 grateful there's a like i'm at a point where i know i recognize a lot of you guys who comment and you guys are always there there's some of you who are always first like you just like you watch my videos all i've ever wanted 
since I started making YouTube videos nine years ago was to have people that came and watched my videos and I've been having that for years now and so I'm just sorry I wasn't more grateful like what I don't know what happened but anyways yeah um so yeah I'm grateful for you guys in my messy room in my messy office I can't wait to clean it but I'm not cleaning it right now I think that just about wraps everything up so Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.